Hi everyone, this is Ken. In my previous video, I made a simple internet radio. Just connecting all the wires on the breadboard and it was just that. The program is getting some information about the radio station, but、uh, I cannot really do anything about it. I decided to add something more so I can do something like、uh, selecting the radio station or control the volume of the、uh, speaker or you know, something like that. To add a you know, beautiful display to it so I can see some information about the radio station. The result is pretty good. I had a display and also I have a, a dial. So, when you turn the dial, you can change the radio station. And when you push the button, the selected radio station will start playing. This video is all about how I built it. It wasn't easy, but I learned many things. During the building process, I hope you can learn something too. So let's get started. In most of my projects, I 3D print cases for them. Cases will bring more characteristics to the project and can also protect the components inside. So, of course, this time I'm going to print a beautiful case for the display since I have already. Had some、uh, cases for the dial from other projects, so I won't design a new case for the dial. Now the cover is ready, let's check the size. It looks good. Now let's put it together. However, I find a problem. The screw nut is interfering with the、uh, bottom case, so I cannot put them together tightly. Well, I guess I have to、uh, make another one. So uh, let's uh, measure how much bigger should we make it. I go back to Fusion 360. And、uh, made the modification. Save it to the、uh, SD card. Let's bring it to the 3D printer and do it again. Okay, let's come back to business. Okay, now it、uh, looks perfect. Let's move on. By the way, the、uh, display I am using is without the Touch function and、uh, the one with touch function、uh, has this little chip on it. You can differentiate it by、uh, looking at the chip. If you have one,、uh, the chances are that you have a touch panel a display. If not,、uh, you don't. If you don't have the touch function, then the、uh, five pins over here 
should not be used, of course. Okay, next is the back breaking part. A lot of soldering, a lot of wiring, and just bear with me. I tried to use a moai to support my display during the soldering, but uh, you know, just don't use them, they're not stable. Okay, the first part of soldering is over. Now we're going to move the uh, PCM5102 module to the uh, universal PCB board. Before that, uh, we have to find the uh, proper pin headers and uh, solder them to the uh, PCB board so we can do the further uh, connecting. You need something like extension board so you can push the uh, header pins onto it you know, just like temporary holder for you during the soldering. Okay, my soldering looks pretty good. Now let's find a best location for our module. I will share all the information you need to make the same internet radio. So just see the uh, description below. If they're not there when you see the video, please give me a couple of days to prepare. I will clean up the source code and upload it to GitHub so you can make your own version of it or maybe improve it.
It won't be soon, but I definitely going to create a third part. In next video, I guess I will go into improve the program, and uh, maybe I will add some cool animation to the UI, and uh, maybe design a better case, or add an amplifier and a speaker with the battery, so you can take it out without any power code. I guess that's it. I hope you enjoy my video and maybe learn something from it. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you next time.